Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2. Moving on to the next jump in time in the next region. This is our fourth one, I think? Either the fourth region or the fourth transition. でも、こんにだけはどうも恵まれんよだ。俺が、あの若め野郎の言ってた、夢の大将ってやつなのか。笑える。笑えるよな。<笑> Unable to produce an heir, Hideyoshi threw himself headfirst into his plots and schemes. Meanwhile, as the Oda's clan, Oda clan star continued to rise, the generals of the Akechi clan began to assemble in secret. の大名が連合して織田に歯向かってきたそこで信長様はその旗頭たる石山本願寺を叩き一気に連合を解体するつもりだ信長様の天下取りも近い So they've aged noticeably by this point. There's a little bit of a rift growing between Hide and Tokichiro. At the heart of Osaka lies the heavily fortified walled complex of Ishiyama Honganji. With an extensive canal system connected to the sea, the complex also has an enormous reservoir to provide water in times of disaster or when under siege from enemies. The gigantic stones used to form the foundation of the bulwarks are what gave the location the name Ishiyama, meaning Stone Mountain. The complex boasts defenses that have repelled the might of countless daimyo during times of war. ヒデウシ。この本願寺には大量の霊石が眠っておる。働き次第ではその霊石お主らに任せる。ありがたき幸せ。この秀吉めが一晩で落としてご覧に入れます。よし。おい、聞いたろ。秀の味、行くぞな
人物あやかし霊石そのすべてを御してこそあまねく天地に落土をしけよひとたび生を受け滅せぬ者のあるべきかしかれどウヌの青き瞳にはその定めに逆らう力あり万里の波動を超えるがごとくこの信長の野望とともに人知の果てを超えられよう。背負えるとはなお主の背にあるものが褒美じゃ Which means we acquire Hiobishin That amazing regal cool looking panther Uh, by the way, I turned on the extra action bars, so as you see, we have uh, 16 items hotkeyed and at our fingertips. So we'll have some more toys to play with. It was necessary since I'm picking up even more Omnio magic. Oh, and we'll also be playing around with some different... Uh, guardian spirits too, or uh, yokais and guardian spirits. さあ、ここで陶器治療流敵の注意を俺たちに引きつけるぞ。最下州の鉄砲がなければ本体も門を突破できるぞ。見てみろよ。あのバカでかい三重の塔を本願寺の力の象徴だ。波の大名より。Uh, so the type of guardian spirit that we have equipped now is going to change our yokai form and our burst counter. And there actually is a meaningful difference um, between the feral, phantom, and brute uh, types of of uh, burst counters. So the phantom one, which is the one that we've been primarily using, uh, is just a straight-up parry. The feral type uh, has similar invincibility. Uh, but it also dodges for you. Uh, or rather, you can choose in which direction you dodge with it. Uh, whereas the Phantom one is stationary. The Brute one has no invincibility to it, unlike Feral and Phantom. Uh, so it's kind of my least favorite to use. It's much easier to use than the other two for the purposes of actually countering whatever you're trying to burst counter. Uh, you have a longer window, plus it pushes you forward a little bit, and it does a decent amount of damage on its own. Uh, it's like a, a forward-moving attack. The brute burst counter. But again, no invincibility, so you can take damage during it, uh, which is not ideal. I think you take a, a heavily reduced amount, though. And then there are different yokai forms when you pop that. Uh, also play a little bit differently. The brute is slow, uh, slower, heavier, heavier hitting, uh, whereas the phantom and the feral types are more mobile. Uh, but they hit a little bit... Uh, a little bit softer. Also, as you can see... Picked up some new moves for the Switchblade. Oh, nope. 
trying to get it off there. I think it's called Just Reprisal, which is the mid stance parry. There we go. Can do quite a bit of damage. Plus, it puts you behind the enemy, which means you're doing backstab damage as well. Uh, same with the other thing that I picked up that you saw earlier, that flip called Divine Retribution. It's L1 and square in high stance. Uh, does good damage and puts you behind the enemy. Plus, I equipped it with a passive called Murderous Strike, so it heals me when I kill with it, uh, which is pretty handy. So my high stance with the Switchglaive is starting to get pretty decked out. And I'm already pretty fond of that stance. I, I don't tend to use it as much in boss fights because I don't like the roll as much. On uh, because stamina management is so much more of a priority. But damn, it feels so good. We can just sweep you up. Good stuff. Oh, and I love this flooded hamlet. This gloomy, rainy setting. Just ankle high water, so it's not really impeding your movement. It's just to get it's just so you get to enjoy the aesthetic of it. Ah, uh, it rocks. Oh, and since we were talking about um this mechanic, uh the mechanical difference between the different uh Yokai forms. Ooh, I have rapidly lost track of the elements of the game that I have or have not discussed before because it's so dense with stuff. It's it's system heavy and mechanics heavy. Uh, so if you see something that you don't get or if you're uh, there's something that you're curious about, just say something in the comments. I'll make a note to talk about it uh, in an upcoming episode once I do see it. Uh, but that was also bringing me to status effects. I don't really think that I hit on all of them. I started talking about the stank one uh, last time, but I think I've neglected to really go in depth about the others. So we'll hit the major common ones, like the elemental ones. Uh, since last mission introduced Tesso Violet and the stench with it. So there's Scorched, which is the fire elemental effect. It's just a burning damage over time. Saturated is uh, what water does to you. And it makes you take more damage from attacks. Electrified is one that I've been favoring a lot. Uh, because once you're afflicted with it, it slows you down. Or if you afflict enemies with it, it slows them down quite a bit. Uh, and then there's purification. When you're purified, uh, this one's actually multifaceted. On? Okay, good. Was worried that that was. Oh shit! I forgot about him. Oh, I didn't clear him out, and then I backed her into the room with him. It became a knife fight in a phone booth. Ah, okay. Let me just remember to get back to purification in a moment. Okay, you. I'm making sure dead before I initiate that fight against her. That's also going to let me do a little bit more with a backstab. I kind of blundered that one. Bungled it. Uh, I think I was on purification? Purification and corruption? Uh, so when purification is applied, uh, whatever it's applied to loses any positive buffs. Uh, and it also removes corruption status. Uh, and it makes whatever it's applied to take increased stamina damage. And then corruption is the other side of the coin. Uh, it removes purification, it makes you take more stamina damage, and you get your lost stamina leeched. Uh, and typically the way it works, the rule of thumb, is that humans are weak to corruption, yokai are weak to purification. Uh, then there's poison, it's just another dot. Paralysis is pretty self-explanatory. You see the Gaki use it a lot, those uh, purple or violet pools they leave on the ground sometimes. 
Um, it tends to be color-coded purple, actually. The the, uh, the Gorgons also uh, have that color-coded purple. Uh, their petrifying gaze. あなたの陽動のおかげで織田本体も侵入できました。寺には明かしだけでなく大水までもこの異変は溜め込まれた霊石に起因するものでしょう。あなたの力が頼りです。どうかお気をつけて。寺には明かし。That is, I believe Hanbei looking gravely injured. Uh, so, let's see, which way am I going first? I think this leads into the temple, which is the way forward. Yeah, Master Hanbei. Oh, yeah. Forgot about the, uh, uh, that Takichiro gave him the spirit stones. For the illness. Uh, and when you follow this cistern down to the dead end, just watch for the snake ambush and you'll be good. I am poisoned, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, these are not super dangerous enemies. So as long as I kill her before the poison ticks me out, I think I'll be good. I would rather not burn the elixir if I don't have to since the shrine is right there. Uh, the poison's going to expire before it can kill me, so as long as I don't take a hit, I'm good. And I just didn't feel like popping into the menu to, uh, to imbibe an antidote. I think there may even be a Kodama in here, hell yeah! That's the one that we saw from the other side of the gate, uh, from the first shrine, actually. And now, we will rest at the shrine, get our health back, without having to waste the elixir. Oh wait, there's actually something I forgot to do, now that we have a Kodama buddy. This is our first Kodama of the region, so we set the Yamabushi blessing, and that's alright. Soul core drop rate. I always prefer to have the extra Amrita, but yeah, this is fine too. So we'll enter the temple, which is a dark realm. And we're going to follow the... Oh, I almost forgot about this snake. And there is an archer behind me. As long as I stay mobile, it shouldn't be able to hit me though. Oop, that might be bad. We're okay. So we're going to chill in here, in this foyer. Try to line of sight this archer until we're done with the snake. And then... I think what's generating the Dark Realm here... This is fine. Just gonna wind up a grab. The paralysis will expire just in time to dodge roll out of it. We are good! Uh, what's actually generating the Dark Realm, I think, is that obelisk uh, up on the raised platform just up the stairs. So, while the big four-legged yokai patrols around, we're going to try to get up there and burst it down. Oh, we still have this problem, too. Forgot about you. That should... Oh, no, it doesn't drop him. So, no finishing blow, but that's okay. Now, there's the gunman. Uh, I didn't want to leave the platform, but this is going to have to be fine. I really like the Namahage uh, uh, yokai ability. Okay. Does that disperse the Dark Realm? Yes, it does. So, ah, oh, shit. We're not going to get to full, take full advantage of uh, the Dark Realm dissipating and depleting all of its anima. Still, from the skull, we got that free lightning buff. There's another one just being annoying, though. Uh, ooh. That kind of E-Honda butt stomp. Always freaks me out just a little bit. 
And you can see how much easier it is to catch a uh, yokai doing their burst attacks and counter with the brute uh, with a brute burst counter. It's just I did get clipped by it still. So it is a trade-off. It's e it's far easier to use uh, for its intended purpose. It's just a little more dangerous. Uh, the timing is not nearly as tight. I want to say Phantom has the tightest timing followed closely by Feral, and then Brute, uh, the timing window, is not that bad. So it can be pretty good for new players, especially since new players, uh, both to this game and to the genre, tend to build into a lot of health first to give themselves more cushion uh, for the blows that are to come. So that trade-off actually doesn't end up working against them too hard. Oh, hey, another Tesso. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, let me back up and heal. I just want to make sure that I'm not in range of an attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, it's right there, so that's not a terrible place to die. <laughs> I had some ideas about how I wanted to go about that, but... Whew, got clipped, and then... Just the, the bad spatial awareness backpedal combination. <laughs> oh, and that's such a small amount of fall damage to succumb to, too. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, this is fine though, because that's only 240 damage. Uh, where are you going to fall to? There you are. Doing really bad at timing that one today. Which is making this Tesso more of a threat than it honestly should be. To... I didn't even really need the burst counter, I just did to be safe after the dodge. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more safe just dodging that now. Rather than even chancing messing the timing up again. Mmm, high stance is beautiful against those. And now... We are free to let the stink wear off uh, and explore this room at our leisure without worrying about backtracking into any pits that just plunge us back to the first floor. I don't know how we didn't aggro this dude. He was busy. He was getting busy on this corpse. Man, the fact that I've been watching Hannibal for, like, a week straight really changes how that sentence hit my ear. <laughs> Shit. What a ridiculous-ass show. And it's so self-serious, too, for how utterly, bafflingly absurd it is. Oh, that's a big cannon. Um, not loving this. This angle kind of... Oh, no! That was... I was... I was trapped in a prison of my own design there. Uh, one triangle should be good. There we go. And then, do we just run him down, or is he going to take his time to fire at us? No! Oh, no, he just rolled straight forward. Like, that was his lot in life. Didn't even bother pulling the cannon out and shooting me as I closed the distance. 
What a brave Kisarigama wielding soldier. Some of these Saika enemies are kind of annoying because they have that really quick swap uh, to their rifles whenever you're at even a medium distance from them. Uh, and they can burst fire too. So this new enemy, ah, that drains a lot of your stamina very quickly. But we managed to hit that glowing spirit stone they were clutching. So we got the knockdown and the finishing blow. Oh, I love that. I love the lightning strike talisman. Uh, it's the upgraded form of the lightning shot. In the same way that the explosive shot, uh, you see map to the left D-pad is the upgraded form of the fire shot talisman. We have all sorts of projectiles at our disposal now. Plus, we have our life leech talisman, our weapon buff talismans. And there's all sorts of uh, stuff that you can get in that tree. Uh, sloth talisman returns. There's Devigorate and Oasis. Uh, Oasis, I believe, is the one that creates a regenerative puddle at your feet. Uh, there is one, is it called the Barrier or Whirlwind? Uh, that will reflect enemy projectiles, which is pretty tasty. We might just be playing around with that later. Ow. Sir. Sir, please, this is very rude. Oh, no. I hope I don't regret not finishing the Spear Guy. Uh, they tend to be some of the more problematic basic enemies. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, that one enemy that we just fought, the one clutching the Spirit Stone, uh, is called an Ubume. Uh, and in the context of this game, they are mothers who have lost a child, and consumed with grief, they use a Spirit Stone as a surrogate. Uh, that's why they're swaddling the Amrita Crystals, which serve as their weak points. Yeah, and these, these fire shots and explosive shots, they can pump damage out now. So we've been pumping that stat. サルメの片割れとあなどって言ったか。もう what a dick. Yeah, a lot of yokai of folklore have to do with the spirits of dead children. Which is also probably why so many Pokemon have morbid macabre lore. Sorry, macabre lore. The lore has to be more macabre. Make it macabre. That's what the kids love these days. They love macabre. Oh, I was getting a little tour guide Nixon there. I was trying to go Vince McMahon, but just veered into tour guide Nixon. These fucking kids are down with the devil. They love the fucking devil. The devil's so macabre. Oh no, that's gonna hit. Well, at least uh, the arrow hit and then I blocked the cannon shot. So that's just beautiful. I had a small existential crisis just now because I'm realizing that the tour guide Nixon pull is actually kind of an old pull. It is from a Let's Play that got me into Let's Playing in the first place. <laughs> so it is a poll older than my channel. Uh, and that would be from the Two Best Friends Play Silent Hill Downpour. 
Let's Play. One of the original reasons why I wanted to start doing LPs, especially the ones with Mike. R.I.P. Okay, I'm not having any more of these slime shenanigans waiting for it to expose its core attacking me. Uh, it's a weak to fire. I have a fire-based yokai ability. One which has been tragically underutilized. And one which is not all that expensive. I forgot that it doesn't take all that much anima to use. Uh, so we want to be a little bit careful on this bridge approach. The Palisades are up for a reason, and they are, I think, solid, uh, which is going to help us out quite a bit. We're going to open this shortcut up first before we take that route. Uh, there is a mini boss that we're going to be fighting, and there are cannoneers on either side of the far end of the bridge on raised platforms who are going to be trying their hardest to just bear down on us and put a lot of pressure on... I can't even get a good vantage point on them. Yeah, they are solid, so they're going to be blocking uh, the lines of fire as we fight this spear dude. I think we might be a little exposed out here. How was that not in time? Let's take a second swing at this. Oh no, this is definitely not going to work, because the first hit is the one that drained his stamina, and the second one just somehow was out of range. What should have happened is it should have depleted his stamina and then knocked him down like that with a follow-up hit. Uh, by the way, the reason we have a Scampus Kitty is because of the Clay Bella Beckoning that I used on, I think it was the fourth action card. Okay, so we dragged that fight far enough away from the Cannoneers that they didn't bother us anyway, even though we weren't using the Palisades for cover. Now we can dispose of them whichever way we want. Oh, that didn't kill, so we're going to run up and hopefully just finish him off before he can get up. Eh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Don't let this get away from you. Okay. All right. And we get a small amount of healing off of that kill, because that was, again, with the Divine Retribution uh, stocked up with Murderous Strike. And then you are getting clipped. I think he died before he hit the water. And on to the next area and the third shrine of the level, the third and final. Uh, this is going to act as a hub, letting us access both of this mission's bosses. This is our first one with uh, two different bosses. So over on the left, over there, is a locked door. And then uh, the green door that's just in front of us and to the left now is also going to be locked, or at least barred from this side. So we're going to have to take the path over to the right and loop all the way around, unlock the shortcut back to the boss. But we're almost right there. This door must be open from the other side. And this one is locked. Requires a key. And that key is what we're going to get off of the first boss of the level. time we have another shrine uh, we have an unmuto over there the big tongue cyclops just generally a lot of problems in this area uh, that we're gonna do our best to take one at a time is this our first time fighting this enemy we fought the one-eyed ogres but i don't think we fought this variant of it yet uh, at least in this game. It's also a returning enemy from Neo 1. Either way, they're not all that problematic. They're quite slow uh, and very, very predictable. Uh, and while we work our way around the outskirts of the shrine, we're also going to be taking down some of these lanterns, uh, which will be spawning enemies. 
I have no love for the tiny cyclopses and the kind of trouble they can cause. Uh, so that's three down, four counting the lantern. These are really nice because they always spawn an enemy that when killed will give you an elemental buff, uh, which we can carry into the fight with this Tesso over here. And we're right on the outskirts of the Dark Realm, so we're going to try to keep it that way. Uh, do we have the sync effect? No, we don't. So, if needed, can heal, but it's low enough now. And there's the stink. Uh, we're fine, though. It's only half as effective, but we are almost topped up by that elixir anyway. And now, one of the things that you have to watch out for are some of these. Uh, they're breakable and will contain, uh, what are they called? Kurokoa enemies? Kurokoa or Kuroaka? Uh, and then inside here, there is another Ubume. And if we can get around behind her, that would be grand. Just start this fight off with a lot of damage going in. And I want to say this is what is going to... Or no, it, it might actually be one of the Kurokoa... Uh, generating the Dark Realm here. Ah, uh, that didn't quite get who I wanted it to. I love the Wyra, uh, no Kai ability. Oh, no, we shouldn't have left that Gaki alive. It ate the corpse of its friend and turned big. So we're going to lure them out here. Uh, now that it's kind of a proper two-on-one against two real enemies. <laughs> try to even the odds a little bit by not fighting them in the Dark Realm. It didn't lunge far enough for that first counter to connect. It would have been sick if it did. Getting that sort of blind. Uh, this isn't going as well as I would like it to, so we're going to hit the emergency break here. <laughs> the oh shit button. The movement is so sleek, though. Now that it's a one-on-one -on -one and it's not in the Dark Realm, this is going to be nice and simple. Back up, get a little bit of her stamina back. Oh, that's right, they kind of leash. I don't remember if their health resets. I don't think it does, though. Cool, so all that means is we've done all that damage, reset, and we'll get another backstab. I didn't hold it. I, that's my problem, is I don't hold it long enough. Uh, you can stay underground for as long as you're holding the thing down. That effect looks great. Oh, oh there's the Kurokoa. Oh, this isn't good. And I'm out of stamina. Let's just finish her off, make sure that problem is solved. This is the kind of thing that... Oh, ho, 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 my God. That I was trying to avoid. Kuroka. Not Kuraoka or Kurakoa. So, couple of problems that have occurred. I took a couple of deaths in this area, including one really dumb one, where I died back to back times before retrieving my souls or my uh, my Amrita, which is the first time this has happened in this playthrough. I actually lost Amrita permanently from consecutive deaths. Did not retrieve myself. Oh, I lost the soul cores that went along with that too, but I don't think I picked any up since I last hit the shrine to purify them. So I think I'm good there. I didn't lose that much Amrita either. This is just a tricky area with a lot of stuff going on, most of which repops, uh, except for the Ubume in the middle of the shrine and the Kurokas. But the Tesso, the Unmuto, um, the Tiny Cyclops, the Archer, all that stuff comes back. And I didn't open up the shortcut to the front entrance of the shrine, so I had to go through them all the way around the shrine uh, each time I died. Uh, that was the last Kuroka, I believe. So we're good there. We've cleared that out. Uh, and we are caught up. I think I lost like 30,000 Amrita, which is, for this stage of the game, pretty paltry. Not really mad about that. I am shocked uh, at 
What a tough time that gave me, though. That first death makes sense because I was caught off guard and taken a two-on-one in a really bad, disadvantageous spot. But, whew. Also, the fact that this bloody grave popped when I got close to it means that I forgot that somewhere in the distance... Oh, good, he's going to run himself out of stamina. Nope, didn't get that lucky. And now I am the one who's out of stamina, so I have to be careful. There was, There is a Biwa player somewhere that I'm going to have to deal with before I venture further into that courtyard. Ah, oh, this one has so much stamina and so much stamina regeneration that I'm having a hard time running him out. This should be my opportunity to do so. And that might be the finisher. Yep. Definitely not playing this carefully enough. Let's see, where is the Biwa? I see the archer over there on my right, which I might just take out before I try to scout for her. There she is. I see her in the distance now playing. Oh, the Tesso's gonna block it. I knew it! Oh well. Uh, that just means we'll pull the Tesso over and we'll get to deal with him. timing wasn't ideal. I just traded, though, uh, since I have the life leech. Beautiful. Gotta love how much healing you get the moment you pop uh, the, the snake. Life leech talisman is so clutch. So on our left, there's going to be a cannoneer. And then the patrol in the courtyard is not the biggest deal. It's just a... Ah, I thought it was a Gaki for a second, but it's a tiny Cyclops. So you know what we do with those? We explode them. We incinerate them like blazeball players. Like the poor Marijuana Brothers and Jalen Hot Dog Fingers. But will the one-eyed Cyclops be resurrected? Or will he stay permanently in the Hall of Flame? Will there be a snacrifice today? <laughs> oh my god, I love Blazeball. In the deep lore of Blazeball. <laughs> Last week, uh, Season 9 was my first season actually following it and playing along and... and Kind of being in the Discord, watching everybody campaign for decrees and blessings and stuff. And the Shoe Thieves won the season, and then a giant Elder God Peanut descended after the postseason championship game uh, and initiated a boss battle against the Shoe Thieves. Brilliant. Great stuff. Love it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, but now we are right on the cusp of the first of the two boss fights for this stage. We're going to unbar this gate, open up the short card, uh, short cut back into the yard. Is maybe what, I, what my brain was going for there. Uh, hit the shrine up real quick. Run completely past the repopped enemy who can do nothing but watch impotently and on to our first fight. So, Saika Magoichi is the harder of the two bosses in this mission by far, I think. 
Um, he doesn't hit that hard, but he does have some gimmicks and some combo potential and some ways to catch you off guard to lead into those combos. Uh, he is, however, susceptible to being bullied a little bit. Oh, no. That's one of the ways that he can kill you. Uh, usually, he'll get two attacks while he's hovering in the air, and he'll faint a little bit. Uh, he'll do, depending on your distance to him, usually it's some combination of a shot and a grab. So he can do two shots, a shot and the grab, or he can try to grab you two times in a row, which is a little bit tricky. Just need to do a better job of bullying him. And then when you're underneath him, it's almost always going to be a grab, so just look out for that. Really easy to run him out of stamina, too. He still has a few tricks up his sleeve that you didn't see in the first fight, which he has been uh, running a muck on me with for a few attempts. I think this should be the, a good attempt, though. This is feeling like I have everything under control now. This is tricky. Uh, these don't home in on you nearly as badly as the fireballs from the Kuroka enemies. So, it's just about taking cover while you weather that storm. We've done so with a plum. This is okay, though. Three. Yeah. Feels really good to sidestep all three of those hits. He's always really vulnerable when he lands from that fuck flying position. That's what always... That's what kept catching me in previous attempts. Uh, was the bomb follow-up after he grabs you. Because the grab is... A, it's a decent amount of damage. But it's not deadly by itself. But he follows that up throwing a bomb at you. Which he only does after a successful grab. Oh no! His aim was really off there, which I'm grateful for. Oh, we definitely have this now. Ah, shit. Oh, did I speak too soon? No, I did not. You can always line up sight his, his aerial gunshots, too, which is nice. Um, okay. Play this safe. Just weave between them. Still has one hit left. You gotta watch my stamina. Oh no! I have never seen him use a bomb before a grab before. That spooked me. それじゃ遠慮なく引かせてもらう。あんたも逃げた方がいい。霊石の成果厄介なのが寄り付いちまったね。じゃあな、あんたとはまたどこかで会いそうだ。Founders Hall Gate Key. Noticed he wasn't using teleport as much in that final attempt. Uh, he gives you plenty of time to readjust after he teleports, so it's not that bad. Now we have some kind of roar off in the distance. Oh yeah, I forgot to set this before, because it auto it, it defaults to no. I'm gonna get our. Elixir's refilled at the Konama Bazaar because I'm finally starting to run a little bit dry. I haven't sold anything in a while. I'm <laughs> 
名シャバリオッティコタビはオヌシニコウユズティアタマデオサキカルヒビクチナリマダナニカウリオダナソコノアオビオタンオヌシダノチエブクロデアロサキカルレッツゴー Uh, and there's not really all that much level left between here and the second and final boss of the mission.、Uh, there's a Kroka here. Oh, buddy, you sidestepped the wrong way. Get cliffed. Ring out. And then I think it's just this Gaki. Oh, there is maybe one more enemy? Situated down in a reservoir coming up. Yeah, there's a little slime buddy down here. Then it might be a, one of those cases, like in an earlier level, where there is a snake clinging to the underside of this bridge, ready to drop grab you. <laughs> nah, it's all safe down here. And we drop down this side for treasure, and we drop down the other side to initiate the boss fight. Easier than Saika, but not impossible to lose to is Gyuki, who has an incredible design. This combination full spider, giant yokai, too. So, Gyuki is pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward big boss、uh, kind of archetype. You get under him or roughly behind him, and he's mostly helpless. One technique that they use to make him slightly more challenging, though, is Making his hitboxes the size of a small metropolitan city. His model is a lie.、Uh, because based on his hitboxes, he should be like 25% bigger. I just want to do. Ooh, ooh. I just want to get this back、uh, leg and Rita broken.、Uh, that'll do a lot of damage to him. And it exposes his head for a finishing blow. Rip and stab at his horn. Then the Dark Realm begins. Not too much changes, except he gets these rad Amrita Angel Wings. Oh, what a good design, Kyuki is! That grab will never ever hit anything, because as much as I am complaining about the size of some of his hitboxes, like the ones on his、uh, hoof stomps, his rear hoof stomps, and those. Uh, front leg attacks, these swipes.、Uh, the grab hitbox is incredibly generous to you. And it's so easy to get underneath him to avoid that.、Uh, but if he swipes at you with those four limbs, even if you are underneath him, half the time they will hit you anyway. <laughs> That's good.、Uh, sla uh, the slam is good to see. This will usually run you out of stamina, but it's not really that dangerous to get、uh, run out of stamina by Gyuki, because he has no real follow up for that. And then that's nothing. That is not even a real attack.、Uh, you can also choose to try to, to take this fight on from a distance,、uh, at which point he starts using some poison shot attacks. And, like, this first move that you've seen from, like, the Tesso and some other enemies where he just charges at you. Kind of body projectile esque. We will just not take any chances and finish him off with yokai form. 
had this stock locked and loaded for a long time now. Also gives us this cool finish. And then we also get uh, these raised platforms in the level. I think one of them leads to an exit. But I think one of them, this one maybe, is... I, I want to say that you can just use this to lure Gyuki over and get a plunging attack off. Which I think is, is super unnecessary. And then, is this one cosmetic too? Or I mean not cosmetic, but like just part of the fight? Oh, yeah, it is. Because you can't get up uh, from here. So the exit is... Oh, right. Mumio shows up. Near the dam. And she comes bearing bad news that Hanbe has died, succumbed to illness. And with that, we're going to be moving on. All right, so with that mission behind us, that is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.